Hello everyone, NASCAR stuff here, and uh, probably this video will be the most anticipated video of the year. Um, found the Daytona Wave, and they had uh, the new 164 truck, uh, new 164 truck there. Um, this is super cool that they finally are making 164 trucks again. Uh, in over like what since the 90s, since they, since they first started making NASCAR diecast, so. Uh, this was the first time that we, uh, first NASCAR truck, 164 diecast, that was available for, for purchase. The first official one was Brett Moffitt's, uh, homestead when that was available for pre-order, but, um, this one was a total surprise. This whole wave was a total surprise. Um, we were probably, everyone was probably thinking it would happen, though, since they did it last year, but not for sure. So, uh, pretty cool that we did get a Daytona wave, and, uh, and that we got a 164 truck. Uh, so, very cool, um, kind of sucks that, though, that they didn't get, like, a magnet or anything, or, like, a special Daytona card or magnet like they did last year, um, they just all got, like, the old bonus waves, they just got the cup schedule and Xfinity schedule on the back, like, right here, there's a cup series schedule right here, you want to look at that. The Xfinity Series schedule, if you want to look at that. And the tracks highlighted in green and red are the course of playoff tracks. So here's the truck diecast itself. I'll give a quick 360 view of it. Uh, got this, of course, at Walmart with the Daytona Wave. Uh, it's a uh, Daytona International Speedway, kind of like a program truck car. So with this, I'm hoping maybe some tracks will start doing a promotional truck 164s again, like uh, Canadian Tire, Texas, Iowa, Gateway. Uh, hopefully, maybe maybe if they could get promotional truck diecast in for like the races, that'd be cool. Since we got a Daytona, but I probably doubt it though. I'm probably just overthinking. Yeah, it's pretty cool, so uh, go over sponsors. Uh, on the hood, we got Daytona International Speedway, Chevrolet Silverado, there's the contingency logos along the side, NASCAR Gander Outdoor Truck Series, uh, NASCAR Race Truck, Mechanics Wear, Mobile One, Holly FI, k Lincoln Welders, and a bunch of other uh, contingencies. 2019, and then 2019 down at the top. And unfortunately, the truck mold does not have a roof flap, a single roof flap right here, like they do in real life, so that's unfortunate. They, they don't have it on the 124s either, but it would have been a nice touch. And along the side, they don't have anything. We just got Daytona National Speedway right here. And they use not normal decaling, like this actually I think is paint. Um... As with the other cup cars, they use paint uh, decaling, and right here, this is paint. I can tell, and you can tell right there, with the little paint blob right there. And then also, too, another thing that's probably going to be a common thing in the trucks is that the rear quarter panels right here are not going to be cut straight, because right here, you can tell it's kind of wonky. Like, it was going out straight, and then it was just bent, so that's kind of odd. Daytona International Speedway, Silverado. Daytona International Speedway on the trunk. Same stuff along the other side. No side window, which I'm glad they did not put in. Very, very realistic. And there's a look inside the truck cab. Looks pretty cool. I'm not aware, I don't think that they have any uh, pedals in there. They might, I don't know, I would have to look. But... Uh, luckily on the 164 they, ha they didn't have the problem of the roof uh, brake light not b being all the way up here. They actually have it down here so that's pretty cool. And then here's a look at the chassis right here. Lionel Racing made in China. And pretty interesting truck chassis right here. Um, especially right here. They kind of they have to kind of put it up a little bit. It, it I don't know how to explain it. They have to put it up, I guess. Um, well, not I guess, but it's, uh, it's more exposed in the back than the cup in Xfinity. So the fuel cell is significantly bigger 
than the lower uh, other series. Pretty cool looking. Uh, very cool looking truck. I don't see anything that looks too weird on the truck. I think they really did capture the truck. Um, trucks compared trucks really well. So, yeah. Very cool that they have 164 trucks again. Very happy. We'll definitely be collecting all 164 trucks when they do come out. So, uh, that'll be all. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Check out my Instagram, NASCAR Stuff by T. And see you guys later. Bye.